Hi, uh, I'm here to uh, talk about our work on proxy distribution in censorship circumvention tools. Uh, we've done this work with Sadaq from Penn State University, Amir, my advisor, and Jens from TUN. So let me briefly describe what is internet censorship. Uh, so in the world, there are a lot of countries which try to restrict their citizens and to gain access to some controversial and some uh, contents which are not uh, in the direction of their thoughts uh, by applying internal censorship techniques. And as a result, developers and researchers such as me, we come up with uh, some censorship convention tools and to allow these people uh, to gain access to these contents. And uh, so the current generation of these tools use a core idea of proxying user, proxying user uh, data through a set of relays in, in the internet. And these relays are usually at the endpoints of the internet. And there are many tools such as Tor, Siphon, or, and other tools. And so in a basic idea of these uh, proxy censorship tools is that you have a user which is connected to a destination on the internet and, but if she's in a censoring country, then the sensor will come and disrupt this connection and block this connection to the, uh, to the desired destination. So the user will come and st install the, these censorship circumvention tools. And they usually, these censorship circumvention tools have a, a backend, which have a list of proxies, and these will issue a request, they get a proxy address, and then the user will connect to that proxy to connect to the block destination. But again, censoring countries doesn't want to allow users to do that. So they will introduce some agents to the networks. They will use the similar uh, software, and they will connect to the distributor, get the IP addresses, and then the uh, sensor, censoring country can block, these, uh, block this proxy. And since there are a limited number of proxies for each of these censorship tools, then th this country can block the whole of uh, the, all, all of the, these proxies and just block the whole, uh, block these con contents. And in the real world, we already saw that many of these censorship recommendation tools are already blocked in censoring countries, and the, their citizens cannot easily get access to these uh, contents. So. Proxy, so the main problem within the, all of these proxy uh, censorship tools is proxy distribution and how we can assign proxies to, to the users in a way that the, if a, a user is not a, is a censoring user, he cannot get access to a good proxy. And so our goal in this work is to find the optimal way of assigning these users, these proxies to the clients. And also we are not the first first group to work on this problem, which is because this is a very common problem. And there are three main ideas around this problem. One is using social networks. So for example, I have a set of proxies. I will give, it, give these proxies to you, and you will give it to your friends, and so on and so forth. And the assumption here is that usually your friends are not censoring agents, so you may be able to give access to all of the citizens. Or others is using. Uh, Comp uh, crypto puzzles or no normal puzzles, for example, Tor currently uses CAPTCHA, but there are other ways of uh, using that idea. And uh, similar to us, there are ways to theoretically model this problem and find the best uh, solution. First, some of these works are not scalable, and also we can combine many of these works to co come up with a better solution. So uh, we will uh, first see what's the problem with the current uh, theoretical modeling uh, works. First is that none of the existing works say how to assign proxies to the users. They usually work by saying that, OK, I'm, I, I give this score to this user, assign a proxy to that user. And you, know, you don't know which proxy you should assign. You may have a good proxy and you don't, a good proxy with a high bandwidth that you don't want to waste that proxy to a bad and non-trusted user but none of the current systems have these in their design. And also, the current way of modeling this problem is that you come up with a 
very simplistic uh, sensor censorship sensoring strategy and then you find a good uh, assignment algorithm but in our work we try to go the other way around we first come up with the assignment algorithm then we try to find the optimal sensoring strategy and our approach is a generic we try to make a generic framework which can be customized to all of the existing censorship tools and anything which can be created from now we use game theory to model this problem and find the optimal solution and also we designed the optimal sensoring strategy for this system and we ev evaluated our system against that sensoring strategy so how does it work in the practice so we have a set of users we have a set of proxies as we already told you, we, we want an assignment between these users and uh, proxies, and we want that pro uh, assignment to be first stable, and which means uh, and desirable, and each user get the most desirable proxy. So, what does it mean? It means that there none of two, no, no any two users want to change their proxies, and also among those all assumptions, we get the best sort of assumption and uh, proxies to the user. So we use a set of games in uh, which are called uh, college admission games. In these games, we have a set of students, we have a set of colleges. These user, students want to go to the colleges and they have a, a way of ranking these colleges and colleges have a way of ranking the students. So this is somehow similar to our situation. So we define a set of uh, we define a set of uh, features for users and the proxies, and, uh, we, we, and using those things, we define the utility function. And this utility function is a metric. For example, user, a user can give a score to each proxy, and a proxy can give a score to each user. And based on those uh, scores, we use the customized version of Gale Shapley uh, algorithm to find the optimal assignment between users and the proxies. So this is how our system works in general. But um, so we wanted to be able to compare our work to the previous work. So we came up with uh, some common metrics in the current circumvention, uh, censorship circumvention tools. And so we, for example, the location of users, how much a user use a proxy or, and such features. And the, use the linear combination of these metrics to as our utility functions. And we, we weighted these features differently and we compared the effect of each feature in our result. And as I said, we designed the optimal censoring strategy for this, uh, for this specific uh, uh, proxy distribution system. And one important difference between our, our optimal, uh, our sensoring research and, and any previous work is that our sensor works on the opt collective information from all of the, all of the agents and this is not true in the previous works the previous work usually assume that each sensoring engines work independently which is very uh, strict assumption but we relaxed that assumption and we came up with a better uh, sensoring strategy and we, de we de uh, define the utility function for a sensor, and in each step, the sensor will pick an action which, um, which maximizes its utility. So we designed a set of experiments uh, around this idea. We first implemented a proxy distribution simulator, and, and we, in this simulator, each user requests for a new proxy, and the distributor will assign up to three proxies to each user. We choose three to be consistent with the current previous, uh, with the previous works. And we simulated this system for an equivalent of five years in the real world. And we used different, different parameters to show the effectiveness of our system. So the first uh, experiment, we wanted to see the effectiveness of our optimal sensor against the previous works. So we, get, we extracted the previous censoring strategies, and we, we, experiment, uh, we designed an experiment with a similar setting, and we showed that our, uh, the, uh, the, the optimal sensor that which we, are, we designed in our work is much stronger than the previous work. And for example, in this graph, the first graph shows the ratio of the connected users 
and we, saw, and we can see that our, the, our optimal sensor can get very well results compared to others. Uh, and also, uh, we compared our results to the previous works, and, uh, and we, uh, we, we, we came and we went to in a similar setting. So the period we, we used a similar censoring strategy as defined in the previous works. And in that, we showed that even in that setting, our system can work much uh, more, uh, much better. And, 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 we, okay, and we get much better results in this settings. Okay. And also, so one of, the, our, one of our goals in this work was to come up with some key insights in how to design these censorship convention tools. So we, the first idea was that if we are designing a good proxy distribution system, so we can first come up with a set of proxies and let the system work all, only based on those proxies. But in this experiment, we showed that even if you have a, you, you, you have a lot of proxies in your first year and your sensor is pretty basic and you use the most simplistic strategy, even that sensor, if you don't add any new proxies to your system, can eventually take down your, your system and uh, eventually block your system. And we can see this is happening in the real world and in the, in the, uh, in the Tor network and other sensoring research. We also uh, did this several, experiment, several other experiments. We, we compared different cases and different scenarios. And we uh, extracted uh, about seven important, uh, seven important uh, lessons from the, uh, our experiments to help the developers come up with a better censorship uh, circumvention tools. And so as a summary of our work, we first showed that proxy distribution system is a, uh, proxy distribution is a core problem in the censorship circumvention tools. And so we, used game theory to model this problem and came up, come up with an uh, optimal solution. And we showed that the, it's important to evaluate the a performance of the system uh, against the optimal sensor of that system, not just any uh, sensor. Thank you for your attention. Hello, um, it's Burak from UC Santa Barbara. Um, I have a question about the utility function. Mm -hmm. Did you construct it by hand or? So we came up with a set of, we first argue in that paper that utility functions are pretty generic okay. and you can use any utility function. But for, for these experiments, we come up with a, a set of uh, common u metrics in the all uh, censorship conversion tools. Mm -hmm. And we use the linear combination of those, and we compare uh, we compare the different uh, different weights of this linear combination in our experiment to show the uh, effect on the results. Okay, thank you. Sure. Um, um, Kimya Tajik from Oregon State University. Very nice talk. Um, my question is, um, how far do you think we are actually from? Um, deploying these systems and seeing them in practice, and what is the future that we could actually um, imagine? So, in in uh, discussion part of our work, we argue that the current, for example, if we want to employ such system in on, in Tor, we cannot do that with the current imp uh, implementation of Tor, and we need uh, some other way. We, we need uh, some other ways of civil resistance then we can use such system. So we are already developing a, a censorship convention tool, and we are using actually this metric to assign this user to the class. Thank you. 